KHON2 weather, Kamaka Pili. Taking a live look on the summit of Mauna Kea where we do see some snow and you can take, uh, you can expect in the coming days that's going to be building. That's one of the advisories and one of the threats that we have across the board for tomorrow. The only thing not on the high level is our Makani, but that's going to actually be strengthening as we step into tomorrow. For that snow, we can expect within the coming days we do have that winter weather advisory at least until tomorrow evening. Up to around two inches of snow is expected to accumulate on the summits of Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa. Again, a, flat, a flood advisory in effect to around 8.20 this evening for the Hilo portion of Hawaii Island. Hawaii Island and Maui County, which will join them tomorrow morning, both will be under a flash flood watch until uh, tomorrow, or until Wednesday, excuse me. We can expect a lot of moisture to be coming through, and with a lot of moisture and strong winds, that can cause some, uh, some damage and some issues. Small craft advisory for the entire state until Tuesday morning, along with a high surf advisory for all east-facing shores. That just recently went into effect. As we step into this new week, we're going to start to see these wave heights for the north and west-facing shores come back down, but for tomorrow, Tomorrow, with a small reinforcing swell, north facing shore 7 to 10, 3 to 5 for the west, 2 to 4 calmest down on the south, but again, jellyfish will be here again for another couple days. It's all about the east facing shore, 7 to 10 tomorrow, triggering that high surf advisory, but that is looking to be moving into the middle of the week because these winds will only start to strengthen up to around 30 miles per hour, and that's because of an upper, uh, a high pressure system that's north of the islands. And in the coming days, it's going to be shifting closer towards the southeast, and that will tighten the pressure that's over the islands resulting in stronger winds. Now as that winds do come in from the east, it's pushing an old cold front boundary in front of that. That's going to be the big weather maker in the second portion of this week. But for this first portion, these coming days ahead of us, again, we have that surface disturbance that's east of the islands and in combination with an upper level disturbance that's only going to be lingering through our extended forecast. The combination of those is what's going to start to increase the shower activity widespread through all the islands. But it's going to start with Hawaii Island and Maui County tomorrow. It's already began, but that will continue continue to increase as that trough continues to move closer towards the islands. So in terms of thunderstorm activity, that threat is here. It's already been going off for Hawaii Island and off the shore. That will increase to Maui County tomorrow. As we get into Tuesday and into the middle of the week, as you can see, the future radar just shows widespread activity across all islands, and that will slowly start to clear up as we head out of this upcoming week. So taking a look at around 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the greatest chances of heaviest showers and thunderstorm activity remain for Hawaii Island and Maui. But for Kauai and Oahu, we do expect a lot of moisture to come in, especially for windward and Mauka sections. With those breezy winds, though, you can expect some of that to be toppled over towards the leeward sides. And in terms of breezy 25 mile per hour winds to start off tomorrow, that's going to be strengthening to around 30, uh, 30 miles per hour as we move closer into the middle of the week. And that widespread activity is expected to progress from that point on to the ending of the week. We do see some improvement when we come to this weekend, but it's still going to be breezy and we still have a lot of moisture towards the east east of the islands that's only going to be brought right back to the windward and Malka sections. Sam, I'll give it back to you.